Hey everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I thought I would share with you guys a little book that I made to um, house all of my doodles for the month. This was uh, my entry into Jamie Lola's January Doodle Days. Um, uh, her YouTube name is Poet Spice. And I has, had so much fun doing this and it really got me back into drawing again. And I really, really appreciate that. And um, so I, I thought I would just do a flip through and also share my last doodle with you guys. Um, I learned how to do this Japanese book binding um, from a YouTube channel called C Lemon um, at the recommendation of Rosa, who is Color Explosion here on YouTube. Thank you, Rosa. There are lots of great DIY tutorials on that channel. And I'll put a link in the description box uh, for the tutorial that I followed. I think I might have to do this again once I get wax thread, but I used what I had and were snowed in, so I couldn't um, go out and get the wax thread that I wanted for this binding. Um, but I like how it turned out. I used a lot of neutral papers um, that I won in a prize package from Beth of Beth's Scrapbook Room, and I added these cute little uh, bone charms that were um, gifted to me by Kelly of Creative Curiosities. Thank you, Kelly. I think they add such a nice little touch there. Um, so I'll just do a quick flip through. I won't go into details. Uh, if you want to see anything in more detail, you can check out uh, my daily doodles that I posted along the way. Um, and I have them all on a playlist um, on my channel, so you can check it out easily that way if you want. Um, so these, I'll just, um, these are all put in order, and uh, I'll just do a quick flip through. And I really enjoyed doing all of these. Um, and you all have been so supportive in your comments. I so appreciate that. Um, I have no formal art training, so um, you know it really helps to be so encouraged. And you guys here on YouTube have left the sweetest comments, and I really, really appreciate that. Um, and this has been a lot of fun. I'll continue to doodle, I think, probably not as intensely as I have for this challenge, but, um, and isn't that sweet? This is a little picture of um, a drawing of Elaine Rico's dogs. Uh, she's Today Library here on YouTube, and she sent me the most amazing rack, so I wanted to draw her little pups. Tried my hand at cats. I'd never drawn cats before. This is a, in honor of, it's not really a picture of, but it's in honor of Ruben, who is Jen Scrapina Creations, and this little kitty is um, my first attempt at drawing a cat, thanks to Linda Lapotka. <laughs> this is when I started my physical therapy for my migraines. <laughs> this is in honor of Jill, who's loved my two pugs. She just got a little pug puppy named Jack. Jack and Jill, isn't that cute? And I really, really enjoyed this book binding. I'm going to definitely do more of this. I think this is my favorite doodle, little bendito flying into the air. <laughs> I guess I like this one too. This is in honor of all you crafty folks who've been entering my um, challenge giveaway, um, which is the Love the Earth Challenge, and people have been upcycling, recycling, the most amazing things. So many trash to treasure um, uh, transformations. It's amazing. And so this is supposed to be Biscuit um, in a hot air balloon that she's supposedly made with duct tape sheets and rope. <laughs> Let's see. And the last doodle is this little bat. Usually people think of bats as being scary, but um, what I learned is that they eat tons and tons of insects. And Unfortunately, mosquitoes are completely attracted to me, so I am very thankful for the bats that we have. Um, obviously, it's a little cartoony bat. Um, and that's it. That's my um, January Doodle Days uh, little bound book. And I thank you all for watching. And again, thank you for all your sweet, encouraging comments. I really, really appreciate it. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.